Yeah. Um, however, our next topic. A little bit of good news. This sheds a little hope on, on, on the third-party situation. As I said, a lot of moving parts. We have the rumors that are out there now with all the Switch dev leaks. You know, we got the FIFA not looking as uh, not looking too hot, which, again, hard to know. Is that Nintendo's fault? Is it EA's fault? We don't know. Is it, is it both? <laughs> um, but on Unreal Engine 4.15 has just been updated to include Switch support, which is the latest version of Unreal Engine 4. Uh and it it, it's, it says it, it includes full Switch support. So it's not like the mobile version. Um, it's, it's literally the full Unreal Engine. Uh, there's a lot of big games that run on Unreal Engine 4. Um, a lot of the ones I think of, I keep thinking of Microsoft games, like Gears of War 4 runs on it. Mm-hmm. Sea of Thieves upcoming, that runs on it. But the point is, is that a lot of big AAA games use Unreal Engine 4, um, whether or not they're console exclusive. So that means that... Since the system can apparently run the full version, that should make porting Unreal Engine 4 games to the Switch extremely easy. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, because it down Unreal Engine 4, for those who don't know, was built to downscale masterfully. So, like, it, it's supposed to support all these different hardware configurations because it was built for PC, and it downscales amazingly well. So, there's no real reason that any game in Unreal Engine 4 cannot run on the Switch. Whether or not it's going to look good, don't know, but yeah. it can run on the Switch. There is no excuse for it not to, except for the developer just not wanting to see their game represented less than its full potential. Right. Um, visually. Right, and part of me doesn't blame them. Yeah. But at the same point in time, it's like... Well, the point is, the, 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 come the point on. is, is that it, the game can run on the system. You, yeah. you can't use the excuse, it cannot run. It can. Yes. It's just not going to look as good as you want it to, but it can. So that's kind of the, kind of the big caveat is that excuse is gone now. You could use it with the Wii. You cannot run HD games on it. Well, no, you can't. You literally, it doesn't have an HD out. You cannot do it even if you wanted to right. downgrade it. But this system does do HD and it does support the full version of Unreal Engine Four. So the good news: Unreal Engine Four games can come. Seasons of Heaven is an Unreal Engine Four game. It's Woo. exclusive to the Switch. Um, just as an example. So I don't know what this means. Because none of us know. I mean, I think third parties are taking a wait and see approach. They want to wait and see. If this thing blows up, they're going to be all over it. Because right now, PlayStation 4 is kind of the only thing carrying sales. Um, yeah, Xbox has almost 30 million units out there, but kind now of everyone's kind of waiting for Scorpio. Plat- and plateaued and kind yeah, of they're, sat they're, there. They're kind of waiting for Scorpio. Um, and PlayStation 4 sales are doing fine. Uh, apparently, PlayStation 4 Pro sales are not doing too hot. Really? Interesting enough. It, wow. it, Scorpio might be why, though. Uh, Scorpio is yeah, going to yeah. be like a full 1.8 T-flops more powerful than the PlayStation 4 Pro. Oh, f- wait, f- than the Pro? Than the Pro. Oh, wow. Yes. The Pro runs at like 4.4 or 4.8 teraflops. Yeah. And the Xbox uh, ones, or Xbox Scorpio, sorry, is like 6. Oof. So. Wow. That's starting to get to... Like, low-end 4K on PC, like, you know, GT, GTX 1060, 1050 level. Yeah. Which, that's where you can start le- legitimately thinking about 4K, um, which is why Microsoft has been laughing about the Pro the whole time. Like, oh, the Pro doesn't actually have enough T-Fops to do true 4K. Mm-hmm. Um, but, again, I-, I wonder if that's what a, a lot of people are kind of... Because these are going to be for high-end consumers, so maybe they're just waiting. Um, but, yeah, Unreal Engine 4... It's on Switch. There really isn't much more to say than it's there. Yeah. It exists. Um, it's actually good news. <laughs> it's good news. Like, we've had a lot of negativity here. Yeah. This is good. Like, man. And yeah. no, that doesn't mean all those Unreal Engine 4 fan projects are going away, by the way. The yeah. ones that remake Nintendo games, it's, those aren't going anywhere. And no, this doesn't mean Nintendo is going to make games in Unreal Engine 4. Although, interesting note about Unreal Engine 4. According to Shigeru Miyamoto, and I'm, I almost want to call BS on this, he said that Nintendo's developers have mastered Unreal Engine 4. Okay. Nintendo does not currently use Unreal Engine 4 in any game. In fact, they have never used Unreal Engine in any game. Um, someone's yeah. going someone's to catch me on that in some old school Unreal Engine game. But so, yeah. so it's kind of like, so you've mastered something that you've never released a game for. Right. I mean, it's possible that they have a team that was working on it in the background 
to master well, yeah, it I mean, eventually. It's possible they have a game in development that uses Unreal Engine 4, especially since Switch has full support of it. Right. But Nintendo's always used internal stuff. Yeah. Or maybe yeah. because of the, the NVIDIA tech, they're like, oh, we don't have to. But yeah, huh? it's a pretty bold thing to be like, we have mastered an engine that you've never released a game for. That you've never even developed a game on, potentially. Yeah. A um, little bit of cockiness and they come from Shigeru Miyamoto. Yeah. A little bit of, oh, we know what Unreal Engine 4 is. We know what's up. We got this. <laughs> so here's hoping that they actually do have an Unreal Engine 4 game coming out. Maybe a new Metroid? Hey. You know, something out of Retro Studios since they are, we don't know what they're working on. And they are Nintendo's primary Western studio. So maybe they're using Unreal Engine 4. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it'll be very interesting to see. Uh, how Nintendo uses it, if they do, since apparently they've mastered it. Mastered it. Um, and it'll be very interesting to see if other Unreal Engine 4 devs start making the, making the leap to Switch. Oh, yeah. Since it, it should be relatively easy and cheap. Yeah, that's, that definitely. Uh, that's one of the barriers for third-party games that use it is now down. Yes. It is not going to be expensive to do it anymore. So that is good news. Um, unfortunately, not all developers use Unreal Engine 4. Right. So, but um, that is a, it is one of the more popular engines out there. 